So in the last video, we talked about maintenance and what is my maintenance philosophy and how do we come up with that. And I just wanted to explain how I came up with that. When I was a kid, my mom did not take us to regular doctors. I didn't even, I know, weird, right? Uh, I didn't even know that there was a difference between chiropractors and regular doctors. All we went to was chiropractors. So uh, we weren't sick. I don't think that's because we went to chiropractors. I'm still not sick um, very often, knock on wood. But uh, I don't know why that is. But the point is, knock on wood again, <laughs> so I don't want to push my luck. But the point is that uh, when I was a kid and I would go to the chiropractor, I remember very distinctly that the doctor would you know, he would check these things and he would not ever say anything. He would just kind of do his thing, kind of go through these motions, if you will. And I always thought as a kid, I was like, wow, what is this guy thinking? I mean, this is so cool uh, that he's checking these things with my bones and that, you know, he's making decisions based on what he sees and whatnot. I actually don't think that he was doing that per se. I don't, I, he, he kind of did the same thing every single time as I look back. And so I have through my career of 20 years of seeing tens of thousands of people, I have just made it uh, almost a mission for me to be able to quantify what I am doing and what I'm seeing on people. And some of these things are super subtle. You know, I did a video uh, on with a patient of mine who I knew was just off mechanically or biomechanically. And when I went back and looked at that video, I, I, you know, kind of showed the guy laying on the table and whatnot. And I knew he was what I call crooked or off a little bit, but I could not see it on the video. I just could not appreciate it on the video as subtle. It's just so subtle that it doesn't show up on video. So, you know, these things that we look for aren't, uh, they're not obvious or everybody would be able to see it. I call them micro problems. Whereas when you go to the orthopedic surgeon, maybe you fall and you break your leg and you have a cracked bone and they take an x-ray and we can see that crack on the x-ray, that's called a macro problem. But when we help people, we tend to focus on what's, what's called the micro. And so I came up with this system, uh, not, not even 20 years ago, I don't know when it was, but I came up with a system where I can quantify how, um, how to measure and see where a person is in terms of their biomechanics. That way when you come into the office, I can look at you and measure you against those biomechanics uh, that, I, that I currently see and, and look at what I wrote down for the previous time. And you would think that that would be just common practice, but it's not, unfortunately. And it came from my experience as a kid going to the chiropractor and, and never really being talked to from the standpoint of what we're seeing, what we're noticing, uh, what are we going to do about it? Do we have a shortened muscle on one side that you need to stretch and focus on? Do we have a weakened muscle somewhere where you'd really need to focus on strengthening that muscle up? I'm like your coach and Dr. Hetcher is like your coach so that you can live your best and know what to work on and know how that impacts you uh, further down the line. So I'm going to talk about how small things impact you in a great way in a, in a next, in a, probably the next video. So uh, stay tuned for that, but hopefully this gives you a little bit of insight as to why I am so passionate and neurotic about making sure that we can see whatever is wrong and making sure that we actually are able to measure that, write that down, and then compare that to your last visit so that we know where you stand mechanically and how that's going to impact you from an aging standpoint moving forward. See you in the next video.